Yep. What's up? Talk, talk to me, sir. In the book, everything happened. That, that is, the is what I was There's thinking when I was writing about what the church used to look like. So a little bit of a poetic license there. And you're going to get hit by a car. What, what do you want me to do? Just stand there. Okay. I'm going to zoom in on that white cross. Very gently. Be able to see the Yeah. This is this is pretty much Is this the same road that had all like where a drop out and they were burning? Yes, you're standing right there. Okay. It's, you're stand I mean literally right up here where the, the road dipped down. That's okay. they kept paving, they put a new surface on it like every couple of months. And you can see right here is another place where the road kind of bevels. Yep. And then after its closure, right below that is where the road cracked open. Uh, and there's a little tiny hole right there. Yeah, no, that's that's much more impressive down there. I was going to say we're yeah. a couple of years late and dollar short. <laughs> yeah, it's still, you know, it's still pretty amazing to see. That, it is. You know? And uh, have you guys seen the documentary? There, Not the documentary, documentary itself. Yeah. I've seen some of the YouTube videos. I actually... I, the first time I heard about this movie was, or this town was in nothing but trouble a long time ago. Oh, right, right. And I, after that, I always wanted to find it. He's lived here for 10 years, never knew this place even existed. Yeah, you're on, uh, you know, you're on Silent Hill yep. as well. Yeah. I delivered right up in Frackville all the time. Oh, wow. This, this, this I never cool. even knew it was here. We're coming back from Connecticut, and I'm supposed to be in Connecticut at 7 o'clock in the morning. Right. Well, Actually, um... We're only 30 uh, miles from it. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. While you're here, you might as well. Yeah, you know, I have my family. My mom's side of the family was from St. Louis, so I have very vivid memories of the town being mm -hmm. there. And um, if if you ever get a chance to see the documentary, you'll see what the town went from being to what. Give me your YouTube no thing. No houses left other no. than the ones people live in. There's there's a few. How many people are left? Six. 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 Because what's his name? The guy who was the subject of the documentary finally moved out. Hutnick. Not uh, Hutnick. Lazar. It was oh, an L name. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name now. Yeah. But, but he, then he had the documentary. Yeah, tell him about well, you. Well, yeah, I just actually, um, I just finished a book, and one of the stories in the book takes place. It's kind of a fictional account of a murder that happened here in the 50s. So we just came up today to shoot some promos to promote the book and things like that, so... That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So anyway, Chaz Klimchak. John Burt. If you get a chance, Tom, maybe you'll uh, see this video on YouTube. Do you guys mind if we use you? If no. Yeah. you All right, look up Chaz Klimchak on YouTube. It'll be up in the next couple of days. Okay. All right, All right. guys, Chad take care. Klim yep, it was good talking to you. One more, that was a little fuzzy. I'm sitting between the trees. And the break in the... That's good. There's a break in the fence. Send it to me then and I'll upload it later. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, I like it. Yeah. Oh, it's that came out really good. <laughs> I know. Profile picture. Go yeah. ahead, send that to me. <laughs> I will. That's great. They're both good, send them both. Yeah. Yeah. That's a plane, I think. Yeah. I don't know.